Here's where Ada Lovelace, often called the first programmer, comes in. She wrote the first algorithm for the analytical engine. On paper, no laptops, no text editors. She created a step-by-step -step method for the machine to calculate Bernoulli numbers. Her instructions looked like a flowchart of operations, but written mathematically. These instructions would eventually be translated onto punched cards to control the machine. So the jacquard loom and the analytical engine represent the very beginnings of programming. Fast forward to the 1940s, we had electronic computers like ENIAC, one of the first general purpose electronic computers built in 1945. To program on ENIAC, engineers manually set switches and plug cables. ENIAC worked with electrical pulses. A pulse represented one, no pulse represented zero. These pulses moved through circuits to add, subtract, and multiply numbers. This is what computers understand only zero and one means. In early days, programming wasn't about typing code, it was physically wiring the machine. Want to add two numbers? You'd connect wires and flip switches. Imagine working on whole hardware level to do simple calculations. Then came the first real step toward easier programming, assembly language.